Hey everyone, as we all know, in cyber security, there are multiple technologies which are in demand right now, such as SIM, artificial intelligence and machine learning, cloud security, EDR, uh, SOAR, identity and access management, IAM, uh, threat intelligence, vulnerability management, and many more. In this video, we are going to cover on security orchestration or automation response, which we also know as SOAR. So, as we all know, Palo Alto Networks, which is a leading cybersecurity companies, have introduced a multiple training modules. One of them is Introduction to Cortex XOR. We are going to cover that particular module within this, and I'm going to explain you how that module is going to be helpful for you to learn about the SOAR technologies introduced by the Palo Alto Networks. So, this is the Introduction to Cortex XOR. This module introduces Cortex XOR which is the Palo Alto Network's Extended Security Orchestration Automation Response Tool. The module describes the need for Cortex-XOR and uh, how Cortex-XOR addresses the challenge of the Security Operations Center. What are the lessons we are going to cover is particularly divided in four sections in this. First lesson which we are going to cover is based on Security Operation and the SOC. Second lesson is going to be based on what are the challenge of the SOC. Uh, third lesson which we are going to cover is the Cortex XOR particular solution elements and the last fourth lesson we are going to cover is based on security operation job rules for Cortex XOR. So in this lesson uh, it describes the basic concepts of security operations and which is also known as CCOPS and the other one will be SOC. So first go ahead with the security operations. So first lesson which we are going to cover is security operation in the SOC. So what is security operation? It is also known by CCOPS. It is a particular joint effort that brings together the security teams and the operation teams. The CCOPS approach provides a comprehensive perspective by addressing the need of all users. All users means the internal partners, customers, everyone. Considering the security of the system and protecting the data and trust it to your organizations. CCOP integrated tools, processes, and technologies to strengthen the overall security posture of the business, enhance the security of the products and services, and make security a shared responsibility across the organizations. Whereas in the SOC, the SOC stands for the Security Operation Center. It is also known as a CERT, CCERT, or COC. It is a team of security experts. They monitor and analyze the activity of the network, servers, endpoints, databases, application websites, and other connected systems. The SOC's main job is to find, investigate, and fix security threats while constantly improving security. Analysts in this SOC, with, who are also known as security analysts, are usually the first two to deal with the security issues. The key responsibilities include is checking security alerts, responding to the real threats, using tools to quickly investigate problems and reducing the time it takes to stop security breaches. So there is a core operational objectives of the CCOPS. So security operation is a function that identifies, investigate and mitigate threats and provide continuous improvement. So there are four sections you identify, investigate, mitigate and then improve. So let's see what identifies an alert that is suspected as being malicious will be evaluated as an incident and an incident ticket will be created. Then further the investigation will be processed the investigate the event for the root cause and the impact. After the incident is identified it should be investigated in more detail to determine the best response method. This step helps the investigator to understand the incident details and give clues about which actions to take, such as quarantine, avoidance, or restoration of the systems. Then mitigate. This step involves stopping and responding to the attack. After investigation has been completed, mitigation of the impact and any improved remediation and regulatory responses must be executed. Mitigation actions, uh, actions include uh, breach response actions and typically involves various change control functions. The last one is improve. This step involves continuously turning system to optimize alerting and the refinement of operational procedures to enhance the overall quality of outcomes. 
regular formal quality review also may reveal required additional and enhancement to existing capability specialized training organizational realignment and other subjective changes so in this video we have covered the first topic which is based on security operation and the SOC and its core operational objectives of the CCOPS so in the next video we are going to cover the next topic which is going to be on the challenges for SOCs so you can go into within this playlist and check out the videos as well I'm going to create the four particular videos on four different topics okay thank you and have a nice day bye